So what are we doing? We have a BMW 92 M3, we have a set of Michelin Pilot Super Sports, which as everyone knows, it's the internet's favorite tire. Um, came out about four years ago. Um, one of the best UHP tires on the market, 19 inch and above. There were some 18 inch sizes, but they've been filtered out and replaced by the Pilot Sport 4. Interestingly, the Pilot Sport 4 has actually replaced the Pilot Super Sport um, unofficially. Um, maybe later on in this year, the larger sizes that are still being made in the Super Sport sizes will filter down to a different name that's not the Pilot Sport 4 or not the Pilot Super Sport, anyway. Um, the other tyre on the test is the new boy to the UHP scene, um, and that's the Continental Sport Contact 6. The Sport Contact 6 didn't replace the 5, it replaced the 5P, none of this is simple. Um, the 5P was their 19 inch and above, designed for the really high power stuff, the 5 was 17, 18 inches. Um, the biggest improvement they've made, or they've moved on wetter grip and dry grip as, um, as they would, um, but the biggest criticism we had, and a lot of people had, of the Sport Contact 5P was it was a very soft tire. It provided excellent grip, um, especially in the wet, but the sidewalls were soft, the feedback was really woolly, and you just couldn't really tell what a car was doing. So that's one of the biggest improvements Continental have made with the 6. They've, um, they've improved the feedback, which should, in theory, make it a very good rival for the Super Sport. So we've got the E92 M3, which we're currently driving. Um, we're not running the 24535 and 26535 tire combination because the only Michelins available in that size were OE approved. And then you've got the added confusion of it being an OE approved tire, changing the dynamics of the vehicle. So we've chosen 25535 on the front and 275. 35 on the rear. Um, we've run each set of tyres for uh, about 1500 miles each and this is what we think of them. So how do the two tyres compare to each other? Interestingly, looking at other magazine tests and what we found out on this vehicle, um, everyone's going to be a little bit surprised. The Sport Contact 6 has the edge over the Pilot Super Sport. Has it in the wet, has it in dry and this is primarily in traction and braking. Laterally, the tyres feel very similar. So when you're cornering, the tyres feel like for like in ultimate grip levels, but then subjectively, um, the Michelin has a slightly nicer steering feel and a slightly nicer balance on this car. So it, it allows you to use a bit more of that grip. NVH, which is noise, um, vibration and harshness. Again, the Continental has the slight edge. It crashes over the bumps and potholes less. Um, and to the ear, it sounds a little bit quieter. When we used a decibel meter to actually find out what decibel each tire was putting out, surprisingly, they were pretty they were identical. Um, but the Continental produces a slightly lower frequency, which to the ear feels or sounds less loud. So the Continental wins on dry grip, on traction and braking especially, wet grip, traction and braking especially, NVH is quieter and it's more comfortable. Steering fill and feedback. Now, the Continental might be the best tire in terms of outward grip, um, but the Michelin will certainly win some points back in terms of feel and feedback. Um, you can't be a good performance tire if all you do is deliver loads and loads of grip. Um, you have to give the driver an understanding of what the tire and car is doing with that grip. Um, one of the biggest drawbacks of the 5P, as mentioned earlier, is steering feel. Um, it was a great tire in terms of grip, but it was just like, you just got no feedback. You didn't know whether you were about to switch into understeer at the front or oversteer at the back. Um, you didn't know where you were at the grim it, the limit of grip, or whether you were past it. Um, so Continental have spent a lot of time um, improving the Sport Contact 6 to offer the better steering feel. And it succeeded. It's a completely different tire, many times better. Um, and gives you a really nice feel through the steering. In isolation, it's a great tire, but when compared to the Michelin Pilot Super Sport, you can see how the Michelin just still has that slightly more performance bias than the Continental. Um, and it trades a little bit of the comfort where it loses out to the Continental for this really nice granular steering feel uh, through, the, through the front tires and this really nice predictable balance um, through the rear tires. So whether you're going into a corner, you know exactly how much grip you've got, you know exactly how much steering lock you need to um, hit the apex, and as you're coming out the corner, you know exactly how much throttle you can use um, to really balance the car on the edge of grip. Um, it's, it's small, 
but the advantage is definitely in the Michelin's favour and if we're looking at a tyre as a whole it's something that's very important in the performance category. Where? Where's a category that Michelin have traditionally dominated um, and Continental have done slightly less well in. Uh, the Michelin Pilot Sport 2 was an excellent wearing tyre, the Pilot Super Sport um, offered 10% better road miles um, and 50% better track miles so in terms of high temperature tyre degradation Michelin have really got on to it and I think they used a lot of technology from their Le Mans experience to uh, help with the wear characteristics. The Sport Contact 6 has moved the game on from the 5 um, and again another 10-12% but the starting point was so much lower that we're fairly certain that the Sport Contact 6 isn't going to wear as well as the Pilot Super Sport. It'll wear better and it'll probably be in line with some of the other brands, but the Michelin's always going to have the wear advantage. So, how do you conclude? Um, the two tyres are very closely matched. Um, neither are a bad tyre. In fact, both are incredible mind-bending, physics-bending um, performance tyres that will make your car come alive and do things you probably didn't quite realise were possible. But there needs to be a winner. In outright grip and outright traction and braking, the Sport Contact 6 takes this. Which tyre would I fit to this car or which tyre will I leave on this car, it's my car, um, once this test is over? Um, and I think the answer is the Michelin. Why? The Sport Contact 6 might have the edge in ultimate grip, but for me, for the M3, for the E92 M3 in these sizes, and for my driving style, the Michelin gives me a nicer balance. It gives me more enjoyment from driving. And at the end of the day, if we're driving on the road, what we want is a predictable car with a nice balance um, and something that will make you smile. And if you're going for a nice country drive, it will give you predictability and the feedback you need to make progress safely and quickly. And of the two tyres, although the Continental has the slightly higher grip levels, the Michelin just makes me smile. It just makes me, it just makes the car feel like it, it can do anything, it will respond to every input exactly how you imagine and nothing will unsettle it. And you just don't quite get that from the Sport Contact 6. So I guess the ultimate conclusion of this tyre test is the better tyre, which is the Continental, isn't the tyre I'd fit. The margin, again, the margins are so small that if I had a slightly different driving style or a slightly different size, or I was driving an RS4 or an RS6 where maybe that wet grip, wet grip braking, family safety, or just that front bias power delivery was the, the, the thing, then maybe the Sport Contact 6 would be the better tyre. But for an E92 M3, um, for my driving style, I think the Pilot Super Sport still has the edge. And um, the Pilot Super Sport replacement due at the end of 2016 or the start of 2017, um, should be very exciting because as the Pilot Sport 4 has moved the game on so far um, in its category, the Pilot Super Sport replacement, whatever it may be named, um, will hopefully move the game on again. And if that's the case, then the Pilot Super Sport replacement is going to be a very, very interesting tyre and we're very much looking forward to the launch of it. Um, sometimes a Michelin if you could hurry up and uh, announce it and provide us with a set or take us somewhere nice to drive it that would be very much appreciated thank you and thank you for watching if you found this test interesting or have any comments or questions feel free to comment below um, obviously subscribe and like for more content like this this is the first time we've done a kind of subjective shootout over two tires over a long distance I think it might be the first in the world um, so if you've enjoyed it um, please feel free to let us know. If you haven't, again, feel free to let us know. And um, any questions, we'll answer in the comment section below or ask on tire reviews. Um, thank you.